afternoon. It's Wednesday. Energy Wednesday. Energy Wednesday. Hawaii, the state of clean energy. And I'm Ray Starling. Uh, with me today is uh, Sharon Milwaukee. We're with the Hawaii uh, Energy Policy Forum. And we're standing in today for Jay Fidel, who is uh, out on business today. So we are uh, we're very pleased. Uh, we've got a good show for you today. We're good. Uh, we're happy to have you here with us. And uh, as we often do, we start off with a special moment. Uh, it's called the Negawatt moment. And we uh, turn to our friends at uh, Hawaii Energy. And in particular today, we have with us uh, Rachel Fukumoto, who is uh, energy specialist with Hawaii Energy. And she is, uh, she's going to share with us a megawatt moment uh, that's very special. So uh, take it away, Rachel. Thank you. Um, yeah, so today it's all about heat pumps. Um, as you guys might know, uh, Hawaii Energy is the efficiency and conservation program for the state of Hawaii. And so today, um, you know, I want to tell you that uh, we have upped our rebate um, from last year for heat pump water heaters. So it's now $300. Um, so please uh, take a look at that. Any Energy Star heat pump water heater would qualify. And so if you print or pick up an application from one of our participating retailers that you can find on hawaiienergy.com, um, you can go ahead and send that to us, and we'll we'll try and um, you know send you a rebate for that. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, if you if you want to go online to uh, see uh, what else Hawaii Energy has available, uh, what would be the uh, what would be the website? So um, we have a lot of great tools on our website. We actually just revamped it. So if you're looking for resources on how much energy you're using, we have our new Dare to Compare tool. So um, that's right on our landing page at, again, hoyenergy.com. So check that out. We also have a listing of all of our residential rebates as well as our commercial rebates. Okay. So anybody on that heat pump, anybody, any individual, any uh, owner, or is it commercial? Or, or? Um, so this one is for residential, um, and so heat pump water heaters are best for uh, households with three or less people. If you have uh, three or more people, we suggest our solar water heater, and so we also have a rebate for that. It's um, $750. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And all they do is just send in their form and they'll get the money. From yep, the, exactly, uh, for the, the heat deal. pumps. Yep. So, so I take it that the hot water heat pump is uh, efficient, more Very. efficient than a regular Yep, so um, a lot of people don't know that most of their electricity bill uh, is because of their um, hot water. And so by switching to a heat pump water heater or a solar water heater, you can actually bring your bill down significantly. Hmm. Wow, yep. good. Good. Okay, good. And this is available what, throughout the year, or how, how long does this go on? Yep, so you can apply up until, um, you know, the end of our program year, which uh, the last day is June 30th, 2016, so you have plenty of time okay, to apply. Very good, very good. Yeah. Well, uh, anything else going on? Over at uh, Hawaii Energy. Oh, lots is going on, <laughs> and you know we're we're trying to go ahead and uh, revamp our online store. And so, um, if you guys remember from last year, we did offer some online kits. And so, stay tuned for that. Um, we'll probably be uh, advertising that on our website as well. Oh, <laughs> so the so online good. store, what is that? So you can just buy things from you, or, or so what is that? How does that work? This what year it? it'll probably be a promotion, um, just like last year with our free kit and our um, ten dollar advance kit. So, you know, we're we're working on that, but it should be available really soon. So you'll come back and tell us about that. Of course. <laughs> so, so this is a scoop. We're, we're okay. the first, oh, to, oh, yes. first to hear this is going to happen, so stay tuned. Will it be uh, here in time baby. for Christmas, maybe? Right. Oh, I think so. Oh, that would be just great. Just the uh, holidays. Keep, uh, zeroing <laughs> in here. We're getting a better scoop here. So, all right. Well, thank you very much, yep. and uh, come back to see us again. Thank we you. We can have more scoops for us. Oh, yes. Right. Anytime. Right. Thank Looking you, Rachel. Okay, bye-bye.
Rachel Aloha. Fukumoto, Hawaii Energy. Uh, thank you very much for being with us thank today. You. Okay. Thank you. Aloha, my name is Roy Kodani, and every Wednesday at 1 p.m., I host Life in the Law, which is a segment of Think Tech Hawaii. And uh, basically, I host guests who have some relevancy to law in Hawaii. And uh, I hope you will continue to tune in. If you have questions, tweet us at Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Hi, my name is Cindy Matsuki, and I host the show High Growth with HTDC on Think Tech Hawaii. This is the show where we talk about all things tech, innovation, entrepreneurship, and manufacturing, because there's so many things going on in Hawaii, and more people should know about them. So this is the program that you can come and find out about all the things happening in Hawaii. And this show also airs on Level 54, along with Think Tech Hawaii. And it broadcasts live every, every other Tuesday at 3 p.m. So don't forget, check out the show Tuesday, 3 p.m. every other week. High growth with HTDC. Thanks. Aloha, I'm Carlos Juarez, host of Global Connections, and I want to invite you to come join us. We, we cover a range of global issues. We bring a lot of expert opinion, uh, a lot of issues, whether they're contemporary events happening in the world or maybe looking at things from a more historical perspective. Uh, global issues, very important for us to understand in this globally interconnected world. Join us here on Global Connections. Aloha, how you doing? It's me, Angus McTech. Wishing you to welcome and join us to see us on Hibachi Talk on Think Tech Hawaii. Join my co-hosts, Gordo the Tech Czar and Andrew the Security Guy, every Friday from 1300 to 1345. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk tech and we'll have some wee bit of fun. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha! Okay, we're back. It's uh, Wednesday, Hawaii, the state of clean energy. I'm Ray Starling, and I'm here with my co-host today, Sharon Milwaukee. And uh, we've got a great show for you today. And without further ado, uh, I think we're going to Skype in Will Roston. There, there he, he is. is. Hi, Will. Hey, Will. So, uh, Will, I'm going to let Will tell us a little bit about himself. He's Skyping in from... Uh, uh, the Big Island, and where he is the county energy coordinator. And uh, unless they've anointed you with other titles, uh, that's, uh, the one, that's the latest one that I had. Uh, and uh, I, I really would like, if you could, Will, uh, give us a little bit of background about you uh, personally so that we can kind of understand where you're coming from. You're, you're a mechanical engineer, I understand. Correct. I want to thank you so much, Ray and Sharon, for having me. Um, this is an honor. So I was raised in New York, and I went to Penn State, got my mechanical engineering degree, and Westinghouse interviewed me, and they liked me enough that they offered me a job, and I moved to Orlando to be a power generation engineer. And I did that for 11 years in Florida, Orlando. And from there, I got the wild idea that I'm using my mind Wall Street. I got an A. Went to Wall Street for a while with Janus Capital and traded high yield bonds. And, oh. hmm. and after many stressful nights and lack of sleep, I said, "Wow, you know what do I really want to do with my life?" So renewable energy was what my focus was. I thought I'd bring my engineering and finance background to Hawaii, hmm. so one way ticket to the island of Hawaii because I thought that's what happened. happen. Wow. So what made you choose, the, <laughs> how did you choose the island of Hawaii? Or were you researching it in your... I, that's a great question. I kept researching, where is it going to really happen about nine years ago? Hmm. That, well, look, I mean, Otex there, and John Craven's there. And uh -huh. I arrived, there was no John Craven or Otex. <laughs> oh, maybe this will be just a great vacation. I looked around and then I got hired within a month at the Natural Energy Lab as their uh -huh. new portfolio uh, manager. And, and from there, the county came calling and they said, we want to do the whole island. And 
but that's been my career, and it's been nonstop, as you know, in energy. So I guess great. I got one thing right. This was well, that's great. And and picking the Big Island did uh, was the right choice, uh, as as we've all seen now. It's it's the center of the universe in terms of things happening in the energy world. Very resource rich. So tell us what you're doing. Well, currently I'm on uh, ten projects. So I, I presented uh, the administration ten projects I think thought would really push us to the next level, and one of them is street lamps. On the whole island, and and those are LED street street lamps. And I have a short presentation, and I could take you through all the projects if, if we're all ready to do that, or you want to have an intro? Yes. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about your the job that you perform now? What uh, who do you work for? Uh, are, are are where are you in in the the grand scheme of things? Because you seem to be right in the middle. Right. So the, our department is called Research and Development. It's analogous to the Economic Development Departments in Maui and Kauai. Re, so we, we just left the name as Research and Development, but we're all called Economic Development Specialists. And, and that's what I am. Uh, so I'm the Energy Coordinator in Research and Development, reporting to Director Inaba. And so it's not just economic development, though. You're developing policy. I know sometimes you go over to the PUC. Um, so what, what, what is that role that you have as an energy coordinator for the county? Great question. There's, there's probably seven different things I'm supposed to do. I could probably name four. <laughs> so energy policy, renewable energy development, so projects like the photovoltaic that's at our West Hawaii Civic Center with a lithium-ion battery and five electric vehicles all interacting, mm. um, almost a microgrid, mm -hmm. and energy storage. Or I could talk about the Balamila wind farm that we're just building. Ray knows about it because he's very interested in things like that, water and wind at a, probably the best wind site in Hawaii, which makes it the best land wind site in the world. Just did the groundbreaking there, and that'll be online here. And then we do energy efficiency, and Ray's very familiar that if you don't do energy efficiency first, you're kind of missing it. Mm -hmm. so that's there you go. Oh, Ray likes to hear I'm, that. Let me get that quote. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it so many times, energy efficiency first, then on-site renewables, then transportation, then, then demonstration sites to really push the edge, and finally, always the economic rigor, you know, econ and you know education telling people what we're up to so they can be engaged and give us feedback so we know we're doing the right things and can change our course if we're not so tell well, us tell us what's on the cutting edge now of what you're doing what what are the really big projects that you're you're, you're spending all your time working on well the lala Wood farm took five years to go from um you know, basically, I don't know if you can see this picture, you know, breaking down the site, uh, mm -hmm. which was old Jacob's wind turbines, um, to now, you know, there were a hundred of them, hmm. now uh, five uh, wind turbines that are going to produce more energy. Wow. So um, that took five years of my life pushing that, you know, through different hmm. uh, channels, and we finally got a PPA with a the developer, the Javi wind site. So we have redundant. We have an actual developer uh, that, and we have spare parts. As you know, that's that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. Winds that can blow up to 100 miles per hour at night. Wow. So that's cutting edge for mm -hmm. water and wind at one site with a SCADA control system that doesn't export anything to the grid. And uh, I'll have Ray explain that, you know, that's a pretty complicated thing to uh, uh, you know, understand, but we're not exporting to the grids. So we're controlling our turbines. We're only using the turbines when the wind regime is proper. And we're using Helco power at all times, kind of like a, a box bringing mattress. Helco will always be there, and when the wind regime is right, we bring in the turbines and pump water. Right, right. 
and so there's a balancing there that you have to uh, you can't get too much of uh, too much uh, storage versus the uh, the amount of wind uh, that you have online is uh, is that um, is this something that you can reproduce on the island uh, elsewhere I, I would say that has to be a yes and and um, it's not something I've looked into I'm just so proud that we have done it at the best wind site in the world you know we did the proper technology at the proper place you know pumping water which is our highest energy load it takes two-thirds two-thirds of our county energy bill is pumping water and we're and we're driving savings water repairs dollars or so cool thing about with the water department they have five policy pass all the so you have the people the benefit. That's great. That is that's a great story, and I had not heard that. I, I'm sure you've told it before, but I have not heard that before. So it's a good story. So aren't this, you aren't you at like forty percent renewables? Or where, where where are you now? You're like topping us, right? How how where are you on that? Hug my shirt and go. No, it's, um, so so we're forty eight percent for year 2000. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, that's on an average. And, and on the way up is high. That's really big. Uh, Elko greater expertise, and they must be the best off the world. How do you operate? Mm -hmm. and, you know, with wind, geothermal, water, Solar. Mm -hmm. So you got to credit to the balance that uh, when people say, you know, "What do you have?" That's very uh, that's very uh, inspiring, actually. And uh, I, do you have many people come to see what you've done there? Um, we do. We have a lot, and and we usually uh, we're know what the we we tend to try to put our heads down do the project and make sure about the bugs before we announce it. so um i don't know i don't think we're shy we're not shy uh tend to like try to get all our done before we um do the the part where hey look what we've done well it Go ahead. No, I was just saying that, that you've got a big island to cover as versus, you know, say Kauai or, or even us in, uh, in Honolulu. Um, and how do you interconnect so you cover from Kona to Hilo to Havi? Uh, how, how is that uh, interconnection? Do a lot of hiking on the weekends, meet people and, you know, see new things. And, you know, this place is so beautiful that going to a wind farm on a weekend is like fun so you know we go fishing or spear fishing off south point which has you know, big sharks <laughs> oh, no. I was gonna say. <laughs> there's the wind farm right <laughs> urban spending at 200 miles per hour at the blade tip and you're spear fishing in some of the most beautiful traditional places and uh, you know, going to the Puna jungles, you're right by geothermal and seeing the Puna lava flow, you know that, you know, magma's, you know, underneath you and, and you know, forcing its way up. So it's it's kind of, a, you live on the island, so you see it and feel it. So so it's a, I don't know if you want to call it 24-7, but it's at least, you know, 12 sevens. So you know when the wind turbines, I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, there used to be problems with the NIMBY effect that people said, oh, those are ugly, don't want them. Um, you don't seem to have that problem. People have adjusted and the trade-off is so much greater getting uh, renewables rather than, you know, complaining about the big windmills. Do you have that problem still or you've conquered it? I've thought about that because I've been to Maui lots and, and Oahu lots. And the thing about the big island is it's big. And, and like I told Jay maybe four years ago when you were nice enough to invite me, um, our island's growing daily mm -hmm. with 
new land being created by Pele, and um, we don't have the immediate impact. The wind farm is way down, and you know it looks small. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or so the one we're building at Lala Mila, you will just barely be able to see it. And the mm-hmm. one at Abhi. it's a nice little airport mm-hmm. at Ulapona Point, but you fly in, and they're nice sized turbines. Having a big island, it's really, you know, you don't have these. Hold that thought. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to take a quick break for a commercial, and we'll be right back. About Aloha, my name is Josh Green. I'm a senator from the Big Island. I work in the ER there. But on Tuesday afternoons, I get to come and spend 45 minutes to an hour with Jay Fidel and the Think Tech staff. They're terrific professionals. They help us to bring some of the leading cutting edge topics here across our state to you. So you can join us at our show on healthcare in Hawaii to talk with leaders from across all the spectrum of health in our state. Or you can join us for any other show where we talk about economic development or tourism or some really eclectic programs too. So really, we'd love to see you here on our show. Thanks for joining us and thanks for supporting us. Aloha. This is Reg Baker, and I am the host of Business in Hawaii. We talk about positive stories, positive stories of businesses in Hawaii, how they have been successful, and how they have overcome some of the obstacles that a lot of us encounter when we try to have a business here. And believe it or not, there are a number of positive stories here, and we want to talk to all of you. So we broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock. Uh, and it rebroadcasts again on Olelo Channel 54. So I sure hope to see you next time. Please tune in on Thursdays at 2 o'clock. Thank you. Okay, we're back. It's Energy Wednesday. I'm Ray Starling, and with me, uh, my Co-host is Sharon Milwaukee, and we're talking with Will Ralston, uh, County Energy Coordinator on the Big Island, and he's uh, telling us some fantastic stories about what they've been up to there. And uh, I think you've got some slides you were going to oh, yes. swing around and show us. And, and I'll be quick. I know some people don't like slideshows, so um, basically we're the Big Island, so can you see that slide? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can see, see that. For big, our peak electricity uh, demand is 200 megawatts. Uh, 11 out of the 13 climate zones, hmm. population of 190,000. Um, we we're 50% renewable. 48% would be accurate for 2014. Um, and you can see we, we do claim we're the renewable energy leader in the state of Hawaii, currently. I know that... <laughs> Up, and they might pass, but right now, uh, it's pretty geothermal, big wind farm, um, 16 megawatts of hydro, and lots of photovoltaics. So, photovoltaics are getting close to our largest generator. Mm. So, um, this is a very busy slide. It's my project list. What I so I won't even go into this, but just know that I've got 10 or 12 projects running current, you know, concurrently. I run them like a portfolio. I try to do as much work on, you know, one, and then I have to spin the other plate. So I try to keep 10 projects always moving forward. Well, it looks like a lot right? of yeah. projects. Yeah. Is that all yourself doing that? <laughs> a lot, but, but it's fun. So, uh, a lot, yeah. Um, soon. This is our protocol. So, Ray, this is the snapshot you want. Energy efficiency first. There you go. On-site renewables next. Transportation. Now we're getting deep into transportation. Absolutely. Yeah. And then the utility grid initiatives and, you know, just the conversations that are going on about the utility and the utility of the future are happening now. And that's what we're talking about with the utility grid initiatives. Energy demonstration sites. You come to Nelha now and... You know, when I was there as renewable projects manager, we had no projects. We had golf carts with the that was it. Uh-huh. Batteries, EV. You're going to get solar thermal, OTEC. I mean, it's going to be the one spot, two mile spot. 
Um, and then economics, effectiveness, and education. We always try to do economic rigor. That's the one thing we always say. It's got to pencil out. You've got to educate people. This mm -hmm. is that's uh, where we start. So, so we agree. We can get there. We know, but we want to get there in a effective manner. So we want. We don't want to just say, hey, fossil fuels go away. We want to drive renewable energy prices down to where they should be. So cost-effective projects, every project, we want to lower the consumers. That's that's our goal, and it's not only our goal, it's our mission, and we will accomplish it. So what you'll see at 100% is more wind, pump, hydro, Maybe some more uh, geothermal, but definitely biodiesel. We actually have the best biodiesel in the world right on the island with uh, Big Island Biodiesel. And Nelha's doing OTEC. They originally started in So we'll see if OTEC pencils out to be cost effective. But right now, we're just happy to demonstrate it. That's great. That yeah. is fantastic. So I'll just flip you to our vision. We have five little bubbles there, uh, sustainable energy, sustainable education, uh, sustainable food, sustainable water, sustainable health equals a sustainable island. We, like everyone, they feel that we, we're proof for everyone. So, you know, we want to take our old traditional, you know, the, the original people you know, were affluent in food, energy, and water, and we just need to tap into that old knowledge. While we're using current technology, uh, we're heavy docket. No, I don't need that. Oh, yeah. Heavy duty, as you know. Uh, there's lots of different energy models popping up all over the place. We're very aware of them. We're talking to those people. Um, and good conversations are happening. Really, you know, if, if people come to Hawaii and talk about seven years ago, it we're so we're so advanced. So just the conversation is so you know, got a fidelity to it, got knowledge of it. Shows like people are talking. Um, and there's energy business models being talked about on every other island too. Um, our where I am right now has a battery, it's a vehicle, 250 kilowatt feet in tariff. <laughs> A uh, Lalamila wind farm is going to be built in a year, pumping water on site, no export grid, advanced SCADA, nearest you can get to a microgrid without being. Electric vehicles, we got the Chevy Volts because we got a big island. We need both internal combustion engine, battery, generator, moving into fleet optimization. Biodiesel, best biodiesel in our island. And there's the uh, the temperature, but that's why we put the natural up there to get the deep water with putting the shortest amount of pipe out there. And got the world's leading astronomy. Wow. Right? <laughs> and that glow in the background is Ray, if you could work on that glow, that's actually a wahoo. That is a wahoo. I yeah, I knew. Mm. Yeah. That down we could see more. <laughs> We're doing we're doing our best. So what is that? What is that? <laughs> that's the glow well, of the uh, street lights. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. that, that's the street lights, uh, basically. Oh, my. Yeah. So, so um, it really does. It, it wow. messes up the, uh, sure the telescopes that wow. uh, they want to view in that area. From far area. away is Honolulu, huh? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. back, you know, after the city, we have to have infrastructure to walk place that has to be our infrastructure. We appreciate that. Yep. I, I think it is a real challenge for us all to make that a sustainable city, uh, Honolulu and, and Waikiki, but um, I know Ray's on it. So, Well, let me, let me ask you, um, what, what are the top three problems for you in terms of continuing to uh, grow the, the clean energy programs that you have. I, I, I know you weren't prepared to come up with three, but give me three. I know you probably have 10, but you know, what are the things that are the most difficult 
and we're we're talking to someone who's actually made some progress here. So uh, I think that's very relevant. What do you see as problems that have to be overcome? And tell us how you overcome those. I, I think you know if on your probably so you know I don't have uh, enough hours do what should be done. So, so it really, it's about maximizing relationships and networks. It's something that I really have to work on. So is get your projects done. Um, I would say getting everyone on the same page is really fundamental to making a project successful. And I guess the third thing is People don't even know that they're part of the equation, and and I know you're working on that Ray with education through energy efficiency. But I need to uh, uh, people that you know, you know, they may be sitting in a place that could really move the island forward, and and that's my job is to reach out to them, um, and they all come back together because how many hours, you, you know, you really need a lot of hours to get all this stuff done. Sure, sure. I, I, Sharon, started to ask you something a while ago, I think about what kind of help do you have? Is, is, I know that you're pretty much, uh, as the energy coordinator, you're a one-man operation, but do you actually have other folks there at the county level that, that, that give you help? Absolutely. I couldn't, I couldn't do La La Mille without the mayor's help, without the Department of Water Supply, without I have to be introduced at a at a level of hey we trust this guy, work with them you know what he's telling us about this PPA do we do we write that in you know do we trust what he's saying and he's you know it's, it's the network have strong so I have lots of help uh, I think it's like showing up every day and, and working hard. That's how you start getting momentum. I think this is the most successful I've been. You know, it seems like wow, now things are happening. All that, you know. Yeah, all that work paid off. Uh, yeah, and it really has. I. I you know, I haven't talked to you in a while, and uh, and I I know the the effort that you put forth, and I I'm actually very very uh, uh, proud of what you've been able to do there. So I um, I applaud you and uh, and w hope that we can help you. Uh, we have a microphone issue here, but uh, I hope that we can help you uh, at Hawaii Energy to, uh, to uh, do even better in getting, term, getting the, uh, the electric usage down so that it, you don't need quite as much renewable or storage in order to make the, the grid work there. So, but Bill, that's a deal that we, we just struck that in publicly, so I agree. That's, we, we agree we need your help, so yes. Well. Uh, let me ask, what uh, what do you see as sort of out there in the near future that you um, that you're going to be working on that uh, that people might be interested in? Well, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I think we were okay. We're going to go to a commercial. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage here on Think Tech Hawaii. Center Stage airs every Wednesday at 2 o'clock, and of course you can check out our archives on YouTube or on Think Tech Hawaii anytime you like. Why should you do that? Because this is an arts show that I believe is making a difference in lives. We talk with uh, artists of various ilk. We talk with painters and, and writers, playwrights, novelists, poets, sculptors, dancers, um, you name it, directors, uh, uh, actors, of course. And we don't on only talk about what people do, but we talk about how they do it. And my favorite part of the conversation, we talk about why they do it. And it's really common on this show to hear people say, 
wow, I didn't think about it that way. And it's very common to hear people afterwards who have seen the show say the same thing. And I hear all the time that people are inspired by the conversations that we have. So why don't you join us and be inspired too. That's Center Stage on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. We'll see you Center Stage. Hi, my name is Stan Osterman, and I host the show every Friday here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii called Stan the Energy Man. We talk about everything energy, from anaerobic digesters to batteries to hydrogen fuel cell and uh, grid power. And we do that to keep you informed on the latest technology that's out there and the things that are going on in Hawaii. We broadcast every Friday from noon until 1 o'clock, and I hope you'll tune in. So sometimes we'll be on uh, Think Tech, and sometimes we'll be on Alelo Channel 54, and I'd like you to listen in to me and join me every Friday. We'll see you then. Aloha. Hi, my name is Cindy Matsuki, and I host High Growth with HTDC, where we talk about all things tech, innovation, entrepreneurship, and manufacturing, because there are tons of things that are happening in Hawaii in those fields, and we like to share them with you because people, more people should know about them. The show broadcasts live every other Tuesday at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock on Think Tech Hawaii, and tune in, and we'll see you then. Thank you. We're back, and we've had a few technical difficulties, but uh, we've got Will Roston uh, on the Big Island back with us uh, on the landline, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we've got your picture yeah, there. Nice You're, picture. Uh, you look That's really nice. handsome, <laughs> Will. But, Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't have too much longer to go, but we would like to uh, hear uh, what your plans are for the immediate future. What can we be looking for? Uh, in the newspapers and uh, on the TV uh, in the near future that's going to be coming out of the Big Island? What's what's the big things? Uh, well, you already, you already know about the Lalamila Farm. Okay. And you know about uh, we're doing the full island with LED street lamps. Right. And um, we are darkening the night skies here and saving 50% with each replacement there. So we're doing 10,000 lamps, and wow. we'll be done at the end of next year with that. Yeah. Um, we're going to do civil defense-ready systems, so we're going to make sure that our critical systems have the energy they need when a hurricane, tsunami, earthquake, lava flow approach. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, and then we're going to we're going to stay in the PUC dockets representing the public and the ratepayers. Um, Nelha, we're going to continue to push that research development and deployment area uh, and provide all the support we can. We sit on the board and we're part of the research advisory committee. Um, we have partnerships with the Utility of the Future program. Um, and we're going to push our fleet and mass transit to the most efficient they can be using uh, biodiesel, and we've got hydrogen bus coming. Uh, we now have a hydrogen fueling station at Noha that we're going to use a Helion-type bus uh, with hydrogen, and then we're going to create um, electric vehicle um, hubs. So in Hilo and Kona, we're going to have chargers so you can go about the island hopefully on a full charge. Um, and then we're going to start doing the interior lights on all our facilities. So that's mm. that's my 10 project hit list for the next mm. year. That's excellent. Let that's me ask you one more question on partnerships, um, Will, because we just had Tim O'Connell from USDA on last week and talked about you know a number of projects um, and funds, monies available. Uh, for farming, but not only farming, for even uh, rural housing. And I just wondered whether that's in your mix in terms of getting federal monies and federal support. I know you're working in the parks, the federal parks, but I just wondered whether there was anything that you were doing to, to bring in more funding to, um, to your island um, from USDA, for, from any other uh, federal sources. Yes, we're actually visiting Mililee, which is a small fishing community, on November 10th. To um, They did get a USDA rural grant, and they're doing a solar project, so we'll be there um, 
to support and celebrate that, we do have our eye on the USDA rural funds because we do have lots of rural areas here, you know, the areas of Puna, Ka'u, mm-hmm. Hilo, mm-hmm. and so forth. And if you look at the other state, Alaska, that uses the USDA rural or applies, you know, they knock down about $30 million. So this is quite an opportunity that, you know, we need focus on because, I think we're knocking down two or three million, and I believe we could do as good as uh, Alaska. So I I think it's an area that um, we're going to start putting a lot of focus on. Good. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Well, uh, do you have any uh, recommendations for the other islands as to what uh, what we should be looking to uh, from you in terms of guidance and how? how best to do things. So do you have any magic potion over there that uh, you think <laughs> we should be aware of? This is the way to make it happen or is it just a lot of work? Well, I, I think from day one, the energy coordinators from Kauai, Glenn, Glenn Sato and Cal Kobayashi reached out to me and said, hey, you know, welcome. And by the way, you've got a really tough job. So you've got to manage your time and we're here to help. So. Um, my colleagues on the neighbor islands taught me all kinds of things about dockets that I said, why would I do that? And, and, you know, electric vehicles and how do you do that? And, you know, how do you do procurement? And, um, so the magic potion, if you will, is as, as nice as they are, as collegial as they are, as, you know, as we go down in partnerships, there's also that level of competitiveness, like, um, Australia versus New Zealand in the World Cup. It's, they, they also want to best you, so it's kind of a fun um, situation. So, so I, I would encourage other people to find their counterpart on, on other islands and not, you know, not so much compete, partner, but there's something about Hawaii where people are like, they like to, uh, there is competition here. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. That's great. Yeah. That's great. great. Well, I think, I think the neighbor islands, I've always said this, uh, you know, the counties really lead us. Um, the, state, the state is sort of saying, okay, we have to do all of this renewable energy and, and the development. But when you look, boots on the ground, people doing things, it's really in the neighbor islands that we see, on, and the, the Honolulu too. But, you know, it's, you really can do a lot more, and we've seen so much activity from all the islands. So it's, it's really a pleasure to talk to um, the neighbor island coordinators to see what's going on, what's really going on. So thanks for well, sharing. Well, thank you. Yeah. That's, of course, any time. Let's do this again. Okay. Well, we will. We, we probably need to schedule to come back in a couple of months and see where you are after the first of the year and, uh, and continue this conversation. Uh, but uh, we want to thank... Uh, uh, Will, 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 for Sharon Milwaukee and myself, uh, thank you very much for being with us today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week at uh, Think Tech. Well, you, you've got our aloha and mahalo, so thank you for visiting the Big Island, and we'll be back whenever you want us. Okay, <laughs> okay well, we'll, you're on. Okay, aloha. we'll call you again. Aloha.